shot and then sending it to the net. And a final CM will score his first in front of the net. And the Spitfires will jump in front. Here's a guy that comes in, highly touted, second round pick for the Nashville Predators. He's on the doorstep, big body, tough to move. He can fights for position. Well, this is an area that he's going to have to own this year if he wants to bang in some extra goals. And nice job by Raft in there, good recognition. He comes down low. Dig it loose, Keating the vet. Snaps it back for Hoffenmeyer, gives it up, they'll score. Quinn will get Medina moving, and they'll score in the power play. They just kept moving in closer and closer as it starts in the corner here with Keating. Fends off his check, right to Hoffenmeyer, who's moved right in, normally at the top, out by the blue line of this power play, right in close to the hash marks. Running out of gas, and he's just going to get that ahead. Gets caught up in the snow right in front of the bench, and now it's going to catch Douglas. Back the other way, Holscher. Penalties over the score. Graham Clark with a snapshot over the glove. Thought one of the bench right here, just gets caught up and quickly. Ottawa turns it back up, Ice. And Clark makes no mistake, steps into that, snaps it top glove as Ottawa takes a 2-1 lead. Skating it's Dylan Robinson. He goes down, and now the 67s, as Robinson's real slow to get back up, but the 67s from a bad angle will bank it in off Medina. We'll never forget that one. While Robinson just kind of overskates it here, leads to a turnover. But it looked like kind of a dead play as the puck goes into the corner. From the See overhead that. cam here. Can't quite tell there, but the pad is just off of second period. Douglas tries to center, it's gonna come back to Ladd. Ladd steps in, scores! Grayson Ladd gets the Spitfires one back, it's 3-2. Ottawa takes a two goal cushion to make it 3-1 moments earlier. Great work by Douglas, protecting the puck in the corner, slides it through and Ladd steps in here. Roots this puck for his first of the season. Now it's five on four for the Spitfires. Five for six successful on the Penalty gear, here's Quinn, he's got a step, Quinn scores! Quinn short-handed, sneaks one under the bar, it's 4-2. Well, that's not what they were looking for. <laughs> <laughs> Just get on the power play for the first time, and Jack Quinn does a great job using his body, leaning in, protecting that puck. Cooley fishes it out near side, looking at Fonaseev. Now Cooley, he'll step into a shot and score! Power play marker, and the Spits down by one. He's a goal scorer. We saw that demonstrated last year in his rookie season in the Ontario Hockey League. Goal scorers need to shoot the puck, and he takes three strides here off the half wall. Head up, snaps that puck top shelf. Bring it a piece of it or not. Here's Angle. Angle hooked. Another penalty coming up. Spitfires will have another chance in the power play. Heno tipped it front, they score! Tied at four! There is life in the Spitfires. The building is rocking. Heno just keeps that puck in the zone on the delayed call. Just backhands it toward the net. Angle in front, bulk in front, gets a stick on it. Just a little bit of a piece. And just like that, in a span of 25 seconds, it goes from 4-2 Ottawa to all knotted at fours here. Ball is out of the box, ball, and a breakaway, has to dive, and he can't get a piece of it, and all the way back to stop Miss Perbu. Heads up, heads up, Holscher breaks in, Holscher scores! A broken play is gonna end in the favor of the visitors. Ball started with Hoffenmeyer getting the puck ahead to Ball, and then Ball just stayed on the four check. Well, Any time you've got a player coming out of the box, especially when it's on a four-on-four -four situation, it can be dangerous. And just an unfortunate turn of event there. Well, not the way the Spitfires wanted to end it, but that's how it'll end here tonight. Their first loss on the home ice, a 5-4 OT loss.